Hello everyone and welcome to this next video in which I'm going to be talking about all of the products that were announced at Apple's event last week. Um, as many of you will now know, Apple announced the highly anticipated iPhone 6, the rumoured iPhone 6 Plus and the widely speculated Apple Watch or as we then knew it as the iWatch. In this video I'm just going to give you a quick idea of what I think of each of these products what I think they bring to the market and with iPhone release day yet set for tomorrow uh, I'm hoping to inform a lot of people about what they're actually going to be getting and whether I think they're worth buying or whether they should be just passed up on because there are a lot of phones that have been announced at uh, IFA in Germany that could be a lot more compelling to certain, um, certain people. So uh, first off I'll start off with the iPhone 6. Um, the iPhone 6 is a 4.7 inch iPhone for all those people that are used to iPhones, it's going to be a big shock to them. It's going to be a big difference because the last time the iPhone grew in, in size was with the iPhone 5. Um, and uh, I think that a lot of people will pick the, up the iPhone 6 uh, and think that it's too big or they won't like the size of it. It's not what they're used to. But I think after a while, iPhone users will get used to it and they will not really be bothered by the fact that it's bigger because they'll just learn how to use it in its bigger iteration. The more interesting uh, product that was announced, in my opinion, is the iPhone 6 Plus uh, because uh, Apple has for years dogged Android manufacturers or Android phone manufacturers, that is, that make huge phones, particularly Samsung Galaxy Note phones. Um, and uh, so, uh, Apple has come out with a 5.5 inch phablet. It's Apple's first phablet um, and I think it'll be really interesting to watch the reviews of this device because um, a lot of them will probably say it's the, one of the best iPhones ever made but I think that it'll be interesting that a lot of reviewers seem to dog um, uh, Android phones that don't make use of the larger display, they don't offer multi split screen multitasking, they don't make use of that extra canvas that's available. Um, and I, I, I personally, from what I've seen of the iPhone 6 Plus, it doesn't seem to make um, real use of its larger, larger display. Um, the battery life is meant to be really impressive on the iPhone 6 Plus, and I think that that's something that we'll have to wait and see when some more reviews come out from several of the reviewers on YouTube and around uh, te technology publications. But I think that one of the things that I want to get across to people is that the iPhone 6 Plus is a really big iPhone that doesn't really make use of its um, uh, big display at the moment. Now app developers will come along and probably uh, fill in the gaps that Apple hasn't filled in themselves within the operating system and I think what we'll see uh, particularly next year with iOS 9 is that Apple may introduce split screen multitasking once these phones are out in the market and that people are buying them and it creates consumer demand for such a, uh, a thing to, ha to be in place and that's when Apple will release it and make it available to all iPhone 6 Plus owners and iPhone 6 owners as well but by then we'll probably have the iPhone 6 S and the iPhone 6 Plus S so we'll have to wait and see. Um, the, I, the Apple Watch or uh, as, as many of people keep uh, uh, mistakenly calling it the iWatch um, I, I think that that's a very peculiar beast. Um, first of all it's square now, uh, again, I think it'll be interesting to see the reviews of when this actually goes on sale, which will be next, early next year. Um, a lot of Android Wear devices have been uh, particularly criticised for being square in their design. Um, and it'll be interesting to see whether reviewers like the fact that the Apple Watch is square or whether they give the same critique that they have given to Android Wear devices that are square. Um, the Apple Watch looks quite similar to the LG G Watch, which um, I think if you put them side by side, you can see quite similar design aspects on them. Uh, the digital crown, I really think that will be, um, I think I'll have to use it myself. I'll, I'll go and try one in store when it's available because I don't really see the point in the interaction with that. Um, but um, the the price uh, it, it's going to be three four nine US dollars in America, 
which is roughly about £299 in the UK, that's expensive. When you can pick up a Moto 360 for around £250 uh, US dollars or £160 in the UK, it starts to get a bit steep. And rumours are that the more expensive Apple Watches, which are made of 18 karat gold with the most expensive watch strap, will be a lot more expensive, roughly around £2,500, which, if you're spending that on a watch, is ridiculous. Um, but basically, uh, this was just a quick video. Uh, I know it's a bit late, and uh, um, I'm hoping that a lot of people are still excited about these devices. I'm excited because it's a piece of technology. Technology is interesting. Um, and I just want to give my opinion on what these uh, new Apple devices offer to people. I hope I've given you an insight on what I think they do um, offer to people and what I think they are, what they think they're going to do. Um, and I now want to know what you think. So please leave these in the comments section below. Uh, and if you want to follow me on any social networks, I'll leave these in the description below as well. Uh, and hopefully, if you liked this video, please hit that like button. If you want to subscribe to my channel, keep up to date with all the videos that I make, uh, please hit that subscribe button as well. And I hope to see you all in a future video. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.